Hey, I, I just want to say that I cannot believe that I walked into a koi pond. I mean, seriously, walk much? <laughs> oh, I should wear a snorkel to the next business meeting that I go to. Michael, you know, when you think about it, it's not all your fault. I mean, who puts a koi pond in a lobby? Well, you know what? You're right, Phyllis, but I've been there before. I've seen that pond. This is the thing, I am a world-class moron. Michael, the problem. please stop it now. You're embarrassing yourself. It's okay, we're having fun. It's actually not the first time I've been embarrassed by a pond. <laughs> in high school, the girls' volleyball team always used to throw me into the frozen lake. Four years in a row. <laughs> oh, oh, it was freezing. No, no, no. Oh, this is even worse. A couple weeks ago, I went to get a new cell phone, and I wanted one of those packages where you have the five, you know, the friends, friends and family thing. And the guy was like, we're your five friends. And I'm like, uh, I didn't even know. I couldn't even think. Oh, my God, it was so embarrassing. That was, whoa. I don't even have Jan's cell phone number, and I hate her. You won't give it to me. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm a loser. A loser! Too far! God! Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for the advice. You are absolutely right. I need to go in there and tell her that we can't be together. Right. Wow. Do it. I'm in a very good place right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Jan, we need to talk. Jan is in a different place right now, and it is a sign of maturity to give people second chances. So I'm going to hear her out. Proceed straight. Well, we're 0 for 6. Last chance is the Elmhurst Country Club. Other side of the lake on the southeast side. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I thought this would work. Through everything I had at that guy, nothing. That's how it goes sometimes, you know? You lose everything and everything falls apart and eventually you die and no one remembers you. That is a very good point, Dwight. Make a right turn. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It means bear right. No. Up there. It said right. It said take a right. No, 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 look. It, it means go up to the right, bear right, over the bridge, and hook up with 307. Make a right Maybe it's turn. a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's look, a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's Stop not yelling. yelling. There's no lake here. Remain calm. I have trained for this. OK. Exit the window. Here we go. Make a U-turn, if possible. Are you okay? Swim for it! I got you! I got you! Michael! Michael! Let go! Let go of me! Come on! I got you! That is my Christmas card. It's a picture of you and me and your kids on a ski trip, having a blast. Skis and greetings. No, see, we never went on a ski trip. I know, I know. I went on a ski trip. Right. Two years ago with my kids and my ex-husband. Yes, but what you didn't realize at the time was that I was with you, in a sense. I was in your heart Michael, and next to your kids. What? This is so weird. Hey, dude. Just got back from Jamaica. Hey, what? I was in Hotlanta. That whole town is waxed. Yeah, that sounds amazing. But you know what? The lady, Jan Levinson, wanted to go to Montego Bay. You took the ice clean? <sighs> I don't buy it. Well, I'm looking at a photo right now, and I'm telling you, it could be in Maxim. They wouldn't give you a subscription to Maxim. <laughs> oh, no? No. Okay. Well, check this out. 
I'm sending you some email. You got it? No, I got nothing. Check it again. Hit refresh. Yeah, Mike, still nothing. Okay, wait a second. I sent it to you at packer at dundermifflin.com. Packaging at dundermifflin.com. Uh oh. Wait, I just got it from somebody else. Wow, this is hot. Damn, how do I get you out of this picture? Who did this? It's obvious to me I'm not welcome here, but somebody better tell me who did this or else I'm leaving. Well, I don't think Erin seems to like you. That's not true. I don't know her enough to make a decision even. What happened? What happened? Toby, what did you do? I think Toby's very jealous of all the attention you've been getting. No, I, I would never ever do anything like that, but it does seem like something you would do. Oh, really? Turn it on me. Well, isn't that nice? Thank you very much. Wait, wait, guys, listen. Toy Story is all about toys that come to life when people aren't looking. You don't think it's not possible that Woody did this to himself? It is Christmas. No, it really seems like something Michael would do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, the fact that you would think that points to the possibility that it is probably not me and that I have been framed. Why would anyone frame me for that? Okay, I'm sorry. Why are we discounting this whole Woody came to life thing so quickly? Ah! <laughs> oh, surprise! It was part of the party. Pretty funny, huh? You think this is funny? <laughs> I don't. But someday I think we will laugh about this when we tell our kids. Yikes. Oh, oh that's oh, that that God in heaven. All right, shh. Hi, I'm just gonna take this for a sec, just a sec. Um, everyone, I'm sorry, should I have your attention, please? Thank you. Ah, hi, sorry, I just have an announcement to make. Um, okay, I have learned a lot about Indian culture tonight but I have learned even more about love. And I know you're all thinking, who is this crazy gringo and what is he talking about? Well, I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm crazy in love. So, without further ado, Carol, Carol Stills, I would like you to do me the honor of making me your husband. Oh, Michael. What do you say? Can we talk about this in private? I didn't hear you. Can we talk about this in private? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Cake's really good. Oh, I know. I love when they use buttercream frosting. Finish your cake, Helene. Mm -hmm. I mm. want you to enjoy that cake because I have something terrible I need to tell you and I want you to enjoy your cake before I tell you this terrible, terrible thing. Helene, I think you're a wonderful person and I, God, I've enjoyed dating you and being your boyfriend so much, but I have to consider Pam's feelings. As a friend and a co-worker, I cannot in good conscience continue to date you when I know what this is doing to her. Uh, Michael, Michael, it, it's okay. No, it's not. I know that it took me a little while to come around and it's still a little weird to get used to, but you obviously make my mom very happy. And that makes me happy. Wow, that just, you've really grown. Well. Oh, thank you, Pam. And I hope you were as gracious during this next part. Helene, once again, you are a wonderful person and you have lived a great life and I envy it and I want it someday, but just in the future. You need somebody who, who understands your references. Who is Kafka-esque? I've never, I don't know him. There's another woman and her name is Italy and skydiving and bungee jumping. Okay, so. And I want kids. And you, unfortunately, have already completed that part of your journey down there. Michael. It's not my decision, it's Mother Nature. And Mother has very strict rules about for t T. 
utility. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got it. I'm 58. What am I supposed to do now? Well, hobby stuff.